The ancient philosophy of Stoicism offers profound advice on how to avoid being dominated by difficult circumstances, keep our emotions in check, and resist external manipulation. In this video, we will investigate the illustrations of apathy and how to apply them to live with greater peacefulness, realness, and astuteness in our advanced world. The verifiable methodology accentuates the significance of developing sound connections and cautiously picking companions. As reflected in Seneca's statement, fellowship ought to be worked with the stones of genuineness. Seneca shows us the significance of earnestness and genuineness in companionships, underscoring that genuine kinships depend on common trust and certifiable connections. The cautious selection of companions who share our qualities and moral standards is fundamental to try not to be adversely affected by manipulative people. In a broader sense, Stoics believed that relationships based on sincerity and trust contributed to virtue and that virtue was the path to true happiness. Additionally, they taught us not to be easily influenced by non-friends. This requires developing self-awareness and self-control in order to uphold our values and principles in all interactions with others. Self-reliance, virtue, and tranquility were important to Stoics, who believed that relationships ought to support rather than undermine these ideals. One of the main results of being controlled by companions or connections, as per apathy, is the deficiency of one's independence. At the point when we permit others to adversely impact our choices and activities, we surrender our ethical power and our capacity to go with cognizant decision. This can cause us to make decisions that go against our own moral and ethical standards. Additionally, internal and emotional conflicts can arise from being manipulated by friends or relationships. Stoics accepted that inward quietness and tranquility were fundamental for a prudent life. At the point when we are every now and again controlled, we experience uneasiness, disappointment, and hatred which can disturb our profound equilibrium and distance us from temperance. The possibility of being influenced into morally dubious behaviors or actions is another consequence. People can be persuaded to make decisions that are against their own morality by manipulative friends or relationships, resulting in regret and a sense of betrayal of one's own principle. With regards to apathy, the quest for righteousness and credibility is focal. It is viewed as a threat to our pursuit of wisdom and tranquility to be manipulated by relationships that divert us from these ideals. The authentic way of thinking, with Epictetus as one of its outstanding agents, offers important lessons on how not to be overwhelmed by circumstances in our lives. As they continued looking for inward serenity and shrewdness, Stoics accentuated the significance of inner command over outer conditions. Epictetus left us with a statement that reveals insight into this idea. There is just a single way to satisfaction and a decent life, and that is to fail to stress over things past the force of our will or decision. This statement advises us that numerous things in life are outside of our reach, and what is inside our span is our response to these circumstances. Epictetus instructs us that as opposed to stressing or despondent over what we have no control over, we ought to guide our focus toward what we have some control over, our own decisions, decisions, and mentalities. Enduring bliss is viewed as not in attempting to control our general surroundings yet, rather in the quiet acknowledgement of what we can't change and in the steady quest for ethicalness and personal development. Epictetus's philosophical vision is clear. Genuine opportunity is internal harmony. It comes from understanding that our reactions, choices, and judgments do not have to be dominated by situations and from shaping our own minds and attitude. This not just makes us stronger in that frame of mind of misfortune yet, in addition permits us to discover a genuine sense of harmony and satisfaction inside, paying little heed to outside condition. Stoics dealt with human emotions and passions in a unique way. They accepted that dominating one's sentiments was fundamental to accomplishing inward harmony and shrewdness. Marcus Aurelius instructs us that our feelings are our own manifestations and urges us to practice shrewdness in picking them. Even in difficult situations, Stoicism teaches us that we are in control of our responses to the world around us. By picking to make helpful and adjusted feelings, we oversee our own personalities and become bosses of our internal world. According to the
Stoics, losing one's ability to reason is one of the most significant effects of failing to control one's emotions. Our capacity to reason and make logical decisions is compromised when emotions control our actions and decisions, resulting in impulsive choices and harmful actions. Unnecessary suffering is another outcome of uncontrolled emotions. Stoics accepted that enduring was much of the time made by our own overstated close-to-home responses circumstances like unnecessary annoyance, unreasonable apprehension, and significant misery. Last but not least, not being able to control our emotions can have a negative impact on interpersonal relationships because they can cause arguments and alienation. Aloofness is a significant wellspring of shrewdness for those looking for internal freedom. Its devices and lessons enable us to confront life's snags with flexibility, keep up with serenity despite feelings, and oppose manipulative impact from others. By taking on these standards, we can leave on a way of credibility and command over our own lives. Assuming that these lessons have assisted you with acquiring dominance over circumstances and feelings, if it's not too much trouble, let us in on in the remarks. Until the next time.